Larry. Um, yes, yes Larry. sorry. It <laughs> said like David. No, it was Koshi. Um, <laughs> our next guest is truly an inspiration. She proves you can do anything, absolutely anything you put your mind to. Jessica Cox was born without arms and her tenacity has led to a career motivating others to reach their goals. From a young age, Jessica Cox learned to do things with her feet that other kids did with their hands. I learned to drink from a glass, colour with crayons, unwrap birthday presents, just like everybody else. Jessica writes with her toes and drives a car with her feet. Before she got married, Jessica lived independently, managing everyday tasks on her own. Jessica's even set a world record, becoming the first person in the world to fly a plane without arms. Everything was a challenge. The basic challenge of learning how to put on my headset, um, learning how to buckle my seatbelt. Last year, Jessica was the Taekwondo state champion. Now, 32, Jessica has travelled the world, inspiring others to live their dreams. Jessica Cox. When was the last time you said, I can't? How many of you said, I can't, today? And guess what are the two words that I've eliminated from my vocabulary? I can't. Jessica has never let having no arms get in the way of trying new things. I can tell you today that if I was given the choice, I wouldn't want the arms because of the wonderful things I've been able to do. And not necessarily the things like flying a plane, but the lives that I've been able to touch. And Jessica Cox joins us now from Tucson, Arizona. Jessica, good morning. It's wonderful to meet you. What, what, Good morning. How, how do you feel, uh, do you see the power in sharing uh, your story with other people? You know, it's just truly a blessing for me to be able to use my life to inspire other people. I don't even think too much about the things I do, even on an ordinary basis, like driving by car to be here and, and do this interview like going to the post office or the grocery store and just the power of inspiring others is such a blessing. All right, Jessica, let's go back a couple of years. As a child, you tried prosthetic arms, but you haven't since. That, that was a big decision uh, moving forward as a child for you. What, what were you thinking at that time? Was it, this is the way, I'm not going to do this for the rest of my life, or was it just sort of a test thing for you? You know, I was always able to use my feet as my hands, and the prosthetics were there due to this uh, pressure of conformity, wanting to hide behind my difference. And for me, finally one day I made this decision that changed my life. I decided to leave them behind and be confident in who I am and who God made me to be. And even if that meant being stared at or bullied or made fun of, this is who I am. And making that decision at the age of 14, giving up the prosthetic fake arms, it was the best decision I ever made. And now I share that message with people as a speaker all over the world, that it's important to be confident and embrace difference. Mm. Mm. Uh, we're just looking at some pictures of you surfing and I mean doing everything that everybody else does. Um, and uh, piloting a plane is, is such a special skill anyway for everybody. How, what are the logistics of you um, working this air, working an aircraft? Well, the airplane I fly is called the Air Coupe. It's a 75-year-old airplane, and there are no special modifications. The airplane was not specially built for me. Rather, I just have my feet on the controls like other people would have their hands on the control, and with one foot on the yoke, one foot on the throttle, and I maneuver this airplane without any special equipment, just uh, with my feet on the controls. Wow. Jessica, is there, we're out of time, but I really want to ask you, is there any one thing, any one task that you find really difficult or in fact you just look at all of those obstacles and go, this is a challenge, I'm on top, I've got this? Well, one of the challenges, the most difficult challenge in my life was the journey to self-acceptance. And that's a journey everyone has to have. And so for me, I feel very proud that I've been able to get through that and be accepting of myself and having that confidence. And that's what I hope everyone else can. Right. Well, Jessica, it is brilliant to meet you. Um, thanks for, for talking to us and good on you. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. And, and please uh, tune, uh, check out my website sometime. It's jessicacox.com. Sounds Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks, Jessica, so much.